today's yoga is yin yoga to be happy and open and obviously we are opening our heart in this practice or during this practice and you will need a block or blocks or bolster for this practice if you don't have either you can use blankets and pillows instead uh, i want to remind you that please do read the description of this video you find out about my online courses if you want to join inner circle uh, you can find the instructions there and if you are new to this channel welcome i'm really happy that you found your way here uh, you can find new yoga on this channel twice a month and uh, i am always really grateful for any feedback that you may have so please do comment and please do comment what kind of yogas you want to see on this channel now let's get into our practice we start by butterfly pose today so come in the seated position and bring the soles of your feet together opening your knees to the side you will need your bolster so bring your bolster over your feet and come to your forward fold over your bolster make sure that you are comfortable here as always you can close your eyes and start to invite deep breaths into your being breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose really feeling your breaths in the, your spine we are making space to the back of our hearts breathing in filling our lungs completely and exhaling emptying our lungs completely and continue on breathing like this full breaths knowing that there is no rush and also remembering that you don't need to have any additional thoughts in your head so we are humans and that happens all the time but when you realize that's happening you can just gently put your thoughts aside and continue on focusing on your breath trying to still your mind as much as you can We have few more breaths here.
and slowly start lifting yourself up, releasing your legs, putting your bolster aside and come to your all fours. We are coming to melting heart. If you need more time to rebound from the last pose, you can move your body and then come to your all fours and start walking your hands to the top of your mat, bringing your chin and chest onto the floor. And if this is too intense for your shoulders, you can bend either one of your arms. You can also use your bolster. Either support your chest with your bolster or bring your forearms onto your bolster and have your forehead rest on the bolster as well. Now that you have settled, breathe in fully and deeply. We are not going to stay here for long. So just for a while, breathe in fully and deeply, letting your chest open, your breath relaxing, deepening. We have our last breath here. Slowly you can start to lift yourself up. And we are pausing into child's pose. So you can sit on your heels, place your forehead onto your mat and keep your arms on the side of your body, over your head. On the side of the, your body or over your head. Just letting your spine round a little after the last pose, just pausing, breathing. Slowly you can lift yourself up and for the next one you will need your bolster and place it behind your back and come in front of your bolster. Make sure that you have enough support from your bolster. So you can also, if you have a block, place a block under the bolster on your head side and then bend your right leg. Place the shoelaces of your right leg onto the floor. Make sure that there is no sensation on your knee. Left leg is straight and then we are placing our backs onto the poster. Staying here. And I always find it really comforting and really grounding if I place my 
in this case, right palm onto my right sole. So left hand can rest on the side of your body and right hand, right palm on top of your right sole. And just breathe in fully and deeply. And even though this is really opening pose, this is also really relaxing pose. So try to have all the muscle tension melt away from your body, away from your body. And just be present in your breath. have our last breath here you can slowly lift yourself up releasing your right leg we are switching sides so bend your left leg left two laces on the mat make sure that your knee is comfortable there is no pain and then place your back onto your posture. Again, you can place your right palm onto the left sole. And enjoy that comfort, that feel of safety as you do this. Breathing in fully and deeply, exhaling completely. Letting all additional thoughts to just travel away. Just being present in this pose and in your body, in each one of your breaths. As they flow in and out fully and completely.
we have a few more breaths here. You can slowly start to release, lift yourself up to see this, and then place your bolster on the left side of the mat and come lie on your back. You can bend and lift your right leg and let it turn over your bolster. Left leg is straight. And make sure that your right leg is really resting on your bolster. So you don't need to carry your right leg. You don't need to have your right leg activated in any way. And lift your palms, arms toward your shoulder level. Making sure that your shoulders are comfortable. There is no tension on your neck or your shoulders. And finally, if you want, you can turn your head to the opposite direction from your feet. Breathing in fully and deeply, enjoying the twist, being grateful that you can twist your spine in this way. Knowing that you are as young as your spine is. So continue on breathing here, fully and deeply. Letting your body relax, letting your mind relax. We have our last few breaths here.
you can start to release place your right leg on the side of the left and bring your bolster on the other side yeah, switching sides so when you are ready you can bend your left leg and let it turn over your right onto your bolster again making sure that your leg is resting on your bolster you don't need to activate your leg in any way and then start to open your arms towards your shoulder level making sure that more, both of your shoulder blades are firmly on your mat and then you can turn your face to the opposite direction from your feet letting your spine twist breathing in enjoying the twist breathing out letting your body to relax and continuing breathing like this for a little while We have our last breaths here. You can slowly start to release. And come lie on your back. We are ready for our Savasana today. So let your feet open outward a little, your arms resting on the side of your body, you can knot in your chin a little, 
closing your eyes. Deepen your temples, let your brain fall back and down, liquefy the point between the eyes. Let your inner ears soften and deepen. Soften the point between the eyebrows. Take your attention to the point between the eyebrows. Let the bony landmarks of your face, cheeks, eye sockets smooth. Take one more breath into your body. Each day we get to wake up and take another breath. Each day we get to start again and mess up again. Life is in both of these moments. So when you are ready, let's go out into the world 
with grateful heart and open minds and begin anew. You can start to release yourself, waking yourself up, bring a little bit movement into your being. And then lift yourself up to see this, trying to find comfortable position, keeping your back straight and long, letting your arms rest, palms rest on your knees or on your lap. Feeling gratefulness for the practice that you just did. I want to thank you for sharing this moment with me today. Lift your palms onto your heart center. And from there, lift your palms in between your brows and make a little bow to say thank you. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. And we see each other again next time. And remember, if you haven't already, do comment, like and subscribe to this channel. Bye now.